Hello, it's friends. In this video, as I promised, we will see together how to create this very little shiny component that can be used in many different ways, the pendant part of an earring. If you put several components like this one together, you can create a necklace or a bracelet. It's up to you. I hope that the tutorial will be clear. Thank you for watching. Inspire yourself and see you soon on the next video. Bye bye. To create this beadwork, you will need a thread, choose your favorite one, and some needles, size 10 needles. Then you will need two different sizes of donut crystals. If you have this particular shape, maybe you can use some other crystals with the same size, okay? Then you will need one color of beads in three different sizes, size 8, size 11, and size 15. Pick up four crystals and carry all the crystals to the end of the thread. Sew through the first crystal to close the working around. Then sew through all the other crystals many times to fix the thread on the beadwork. I'm going outside this green crystal. I pick up two more crystals and I sew through the same crystal I'm starting from. Then before adding new crystals, I also sew through the next one, in this way. Pick up one more white crystal and sew through the white crystal in here and the green crystal you were starting from. Then, before adding new crystals, sew also through the next green one. At this point, repeat the same step. So, pick up another white crystal, then sew through the white crystal in here. Sew also through the crystal you were starting from, and the next one too. Now, without adding any new bead, sew through the white crystal here, the other one on the other side here, and sew also through the crystal you were starting from. Now, pick up a size 8 seed bead and sew through the next green crystal and repeat this step until the end of the round. I'm going outside a size 8 seed bead, as you can see. I pick up a size 11 and I sew through the white crystal on the top of the size 8, in this way. Then pick up a size 11 and sew back the same crystal and sew also through the size 11, in this way. Then, sew through the size 8 in the same direction we were starting from, because in this way the size 11 in here will be placed exactly at the top of the size 8. Then, sew through the crystal and the next size 8, and repeat the same steps we have just seen for all the other three white crystals. Here it is. The round is completed, as you can see, and with the thread, I'm going outside a size 11 on the top of the white crystals. Before adding new beads, sew through all the size 11 to connect them all together. Now, Pick up a size 15 seed bead and sew through the next size 11 in this way. And repeat this step three more times until the end of the round. Round completed and going outside the size 11. I pick up another size 11 and I sew through the opposite size 11 in here. Then I Sew back the size 11 I've just put on the beadwork and I sew through the size 11 I was starting from on the other side.
here we are. Now sew through all the bits until you go outside from a crystal in here. On this other side we have to repeat the same steps we have just seen at the beginning. So I pick up two white crystals and I sew through the crystal I'm starting from. I also sew through the sides 8. And then to be ready to add new crystals I sew through the next crystal too. At this point, as we have seen before, pick up only one white crystal, then sew through the white crystal in here and the crystal you were starting from. In this way. Then to be ready to add new crystals, sew through the sides 8 and the next crystal in this way. Again, pick up only one white crystal and sew through the white crystal in here and the crystal you were starting from. We are at the end of the round as you can see. So, sew through the sides 8, the crystal and then, without adding any new beads, any new crystals, sew through the white crystal here and the white crystal on the other side. Then sew through the crystal you were starting from and the sides 8. Now here we have to repeat the same steps we have just seen before. So first of all pick up a size 11 and then sew through the white crystal on the top of the size 8 in this way. Then pick up a size 11 and sew back the crystal and the size 11 we have just put on the beadwork. Then sew through the size 8 going in the same direction we were starting from. Sew through also the next crystal and sew through the next size 8. And at this point we have to repeat the same steps until the end of the round. As we have seen before, the next step is going outside from a size 11 on the top of a white crystal and then sew through all the sides 11 to connect them all together. Then the next step will be going outside the size 11, picking up a size 15 and sewing through the next size 11, as we have seen on the other side of the beadwork. And we have to repeat this step until the end of the round. Now, I'm going outside the size 11. I pick up another size 11 and I sew through the bead on the other side, the size 11 on the other side, as we have seen before. Then I sew back the size 11 I've just put on the beadwork and I sew through the bead I was starting from. Now to be ready to start the decoration we have to go outside from a size 15 seed bead in this way. Pick up 6 size 15 seed beads and sew through the next size 8 here. Pull very well the thread, then pick up 6 more size 15 and sew through the next size 15 here on the top. In this way. Now before adding new beads, sew back the first 3 size 15 in this way. Pull very well the thread, then pick up 3 more sides 15 and sew through the next sides 8. Now pick up 6 sides 15, 
so through the sides 15 here on the top then as we have seen before before adding new beads sew back the first three sides 15 pull very well the thread and pick up three more sides 15 then sew through the sides 8 here in the middle of the beadwork and again pick up 6 sides 15 then sew through the sides 15 here on the top again sew back the first three sides 15 as we have seen before pull very well the thread and pick up three sides 15 at this point sew through the sides 8 in here now the last step for the upper part of the decoration pick up three more sides 15 and sew through the last three sides 15 in this way you see this is the group of six we have put at the beginning and this is, these are the last three sides 15 bits of this group and so in this way the decoration of the upper part of the beadwork is completed all we have to do is sewing through the beads until the other side until we reach one side eight and then we have to start making the same decoration on the other part at this point all you have to do is sew through the beads several times until you feel that the thread is fixed on the beadwork and then you can cut the thread you can use this component in many different ways you can use uh, this uh, size 11 here to put a jump ring or to put some beads uh, to create a hook so this uh, little shiny pearl can be a pendant for an earring or you can connect more of these components together and create a bracelet or a necklace it's up to you i hope that the tutorial was clear thank you for watching inspire yourself and see you soon on the next video bye bye